the Kelvin temperature scale goes like this. So, you have a balloon. If you heat it up, all the particles inside it get all jiggly, and the whole thing expands because they're all flying around. They're pushing in the inside, which makes it expand. Um, and then if you cool it, it does the opposite. It gets smaller. And they notice this line, this lovely line pattern happening, um, with this relative size, the volume, and the temperature. So then they drop the temperature a little bit more. It went down to about minus three, really cold day, minus five. Kept going in line. So they were like, hang on. We have rulers. We can continue this on. We don't even need a machine that goes down to minus 200. We can just continue this. They drew a line. And uh, the line went all the way down here, all the way down to this point at minus 273, which they declared absolute zero. Now, it's a bit of a bold statement to just go, well, you can't go below that. That's absolute zero. Um, but, you know, you should be able to get as cold as you want, surely. Uh, except for this really interesting thing they found out. Look, if you actually see this, this is volume here. And yeah, I can imagine this is something really cold, a balloon down here, which would be really tiny, a super tiny balloon. But, uh, if you were just to look at the volume, so just never mind the temperature for a second, just look at the, the volume of these balloons, they're getting smaller each time as they go down here. And what happens when you cross this axis? You get into minus volume? That doesn't make any sense. That makes my head sore. Yeah, an inside out inverted balloon. And then there wouldn't need to be balloons, it would be everything. Liquids turning into. Nah. Nah, nah, it doesn't exist. Oh, as far as I know, it doesn't exist. So, um, yeah, it looks like this here, minus 273, is the bottom of the bucket. That is absolute zero, and it turned out to be pretty true in most places. Um, for example, outer space. Outer space is 270, and not even the bottom. 273 minus 273. So, um, all right, all they did then to fix this into something, because it, it started to look a bit weird here, uh, they wanted to make a proper temperature scale, because it suddenly became embarrassing that their, their, you know, the bottom wasn't zero anymore. So they got zero on the Celsius scale, and they did what any person in school would do, and their graph looked a bit wrong. They'd wait till the teacher's not looking. And they just go, Ahem, let's just drop everything 273 to the left. That will fix that. And they just kind of went, yeah. There we go. Fixed. And we'll just cover that up, that bit there. You don't need, there's nothing below zero. So, um, happy days. So what they did was they, they took this text and they put it over here. And uh, they drew a line and before that anyone could come back and look at their graph they were like wait wait hang on we've almost got this we'll just get a, a white marker here and just yeah here's my white pen yeah excellent ta-da I have a new temperature scale and now it goes at zero and goes absolute zero you can't go below this one there's no minus um and it goes up to as far as you like. Uh, and the temperature, I have to kind of change it because it's not really Celsius. Well, it's Celsius, except, you know, 273 to the left. So, um, which just makes it really easy to convert between Kelvin and Celsius. You just, you know, it's either plus or minus 273 to go from one to the other. So, uh, we'll just call this the Kelvin scale. K, big K for Lord Kelvin. And by the way, its its temperature is 200 degrees Kelvin doesn't exist. No, his name was not Lord Degrees Kelvin. His name was Lord Kelvin. So that there would be 100 Kelvin, 200 Kelvin, 300 Kelvins. Just think of 300, this guy running around. It's not Degrees Kelvin. It's just Kelvin.